Our next guest has appeared at Just for Laughs, Carolyn's Comedy Club in New York, and most importantly, the great bastion of comedy, the Playboy Channel. He also has a CD of crank calls called Some Men Are Great. Please welcome Sean Keane. <laughs> My father came up to me before and he said, you know, I don't like it when you call me by my first name. I'm your father, show some respect, call me dad. I said, shut up, Kim. <laughs> Bit of a problem getting down here tonight. Car trouble, I couldn't find one with keys in it. <laughs> Just walked my grandmother to the airport, and boy, are her legs tired. <laughs> but it's garbage day. I love garbage day. I see garbage day as my way of giving back to the community. <laughs> Little word about my mailman. I haven't seen him since I moved. Hmm? I found a baby on my doorstep this morning. I couldn't believe it. Tonight I leave the house, it's still there. <laughs> I was babysitting my nephew the other night and I came running out of his room crying and screaming that there was a big monster under his bed. I freaked, I called a cabin split, I hope the kid's okay. <laughs> Went to a party last night. It was good. They let me stay. <laughs> I met Chubby Checker's brother, Tubby Checker, and his sister, big fat ass bitch Checker. <laughs> mm. Watched a Canadian game show this morning. Guy want to trip around the world, hotel and airfare not included. <laughs> I love my VCR. The other night I took a Valium and watched a movie on pause. <laughs> I went up to Pier 1 Imports and I bought something for my TV. I bought a wicker satellite dish. I saw an ad on TV for frozen pizza. It said, you'll find them in your grocer's freezer. <laughs> so I broke into the old bastard's house last night. <laughs> they weren't there. I woke them up and got a rain check. <laughs> yeah, I've got a big appetite. At least that's what the people at the food bank tell me. But I find I'm losing weight. I noticed it first in my face. Yeah, I was trying on some of my old ski masks. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but I'm feeling good, having a good pubic hair day. <laughs> Actually, I'm getting a bit of gray in my pubic hair. Sick. <laughs> but just on the side, so it makes my penis look distinguished. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was reading where a small penis is a sign of intelligence. Well, I didn't read it. My girlfriend read it to me. I can't read. Oh, uh, my girlfriend died. Almost a week ago, but it's only now that I can laugh about it. I didn't go to her funeral. I couldn't get a date. <laughs> I asked her sister, but she had to go to some family function. 
My wife didn't want to go, so. <laughs> Growing up for me was tough. We were very poor, but we didn't know it because we were always drunk. <laughs> very poor. I had to have my picture taken with Santa on Boxing Day. <laughs> I never had a raincoat. <laughs> When it rained, I wore a garbage bag. My little brother wore a sandwich bag. <laughs> Once he almost suffocated, he tripped and activated the fold lock top. <laughs> Very poor. I had lousy toys. I had a Mr. Potato Famine head. I always wanted the game operation, but we couldn't afford it, so I had to improvise with a toaster and a fork. <laughs> uh, couldn't afford a slinky, so I had to push my little brother down the stairs. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. Thank you. Thank you. Sean Keen, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Biff Naked. Yeah.